Hello everyone. If you are sharing any files or folders from your SharePoint site with internal or external users, then you should also know how to manage access for those documents. Well, today's video, we're going to learn how to share the documents and how to manage the access of those documents using the newly introduced sharing experience by Microsoft. But let's go and have a look how to actually do that. So now I'm currently onto a SharePoint team site and I have number of documents that I can share. Now, obviously, if you want to share a document, you can basically um, go to the document and click on this sharing option or you can click on more actions and click on share or you can also click on the share button from the top. But what happens is when you click on the share option, so this is the new experience that Microsoft has introduced. You might say this is the same, but trust me, it's not. There, there are lots of things that you can actually do and control. Yes, of course, you can add the name of the person or the email, right, that you want to share with and add a message. But what actually happens when you click on share, right? Um, so before we do that, let's try to understand the interface first. Okay, so obviously this is the name of the person that you want to share with. And from there, you can specify what sort of access you want to give to that user. And then you can type in some message as well. Down at the bottom, this is kind of a manage access area. So if you click on that, this manage access um, area basically tells you who has access to this file. So these are all the people or users who have been added directly. I'll talk more about you know what I mean by added directly, but let's just try to understand this first. And then obviously this is the groups. So these are all the SharePoint groups which are you know created within your SharePoint site having access to this file. And then these are the links. So whenever you share a file or a folder with someone, it actually creates a unique link. Okay. And obviously you can stop sharing um, and then you can add users to grant access. Okay. Uh, we'll have a look at this in a moment. But let's just go back. So this was about manage access. From the top, you have sharing settings. So if I click on sharing settings, from this section, you can specify in the default options. So you can share the link with any one option, or you can select this option, which means you are sharing your files within the organization. If you want to share your file with the people or users who already have access, so you can choose this option. And the last one is people you choose. You basically specify a particular, um, you know, the email address of that person or that user could be outside of your organization. So you could directly put their email and share a document with them. And from here, you can specify, you know, whether you want them to view the document or make any changes, which is like edit permissions. And then um, whatever permissions you give to that user, do you want to block the download of your document? Right. So if you share a document with someone, they have access to this document. Do you want them to download this document? OK, so you can specify this setting as well. So let's just go back to our sharing settings, okay? And then we have this option. So this is more about share in Outlook. So once you choose that option, it basically opens up your Outlook and create a link in Outlook and you can just compose an email and send it to the user. So let's try to share this document with the user. Now, before we share this document, let's quickly verify that we do not have any direct users added 
and we don't currently have any links there okay so let's go back and I want to share this document with Peter so let's type Peter's email um, Peter is currently added into my tenancy so Peter is part of the organization so Peter is basically an internal user okay so let's select Peter you can add a message if you want that's fine and we want to give Peter view only access and we click send so I have now shared this document with Peter okay let's see what actually happened in the background so I click on the share button again and I'll click on this manage access option now under manage access I can see that Peter Smith has been added under people right groups hasn't changed and under links it basically created a link because I shared that particular document with Peter so it actually created a link and this link if you know has the settings um, all the users that I've actually shared this link with so if I open this one I can see that Peter Smith is added let's go back to people and if I click on Peter Smith so this tells me that Peter has specific people with the link access if I open that one then it tells me that Peter Smith has access to this document right via this link and Peter Smith doesn't have any direct access so direct access is basically you know like in a traditional way for example so if I go back to manage access for a second and if I click on these little dots and I click on advanced settings so this is the normal sharing um, you know advanced permissions page for this document library and I can see that Peter Smith is not added directly right so that's kind of a direct access we were talking about if you add any users directly then those users will be for example let's just try to add um, Amy Adams for example right um, or maybe John let's just try to add John um, John I don't have any John maybe Adrian yeah so Adrian is internal user and I'll click share so Adrian is basically if I reload this page Adrian is added under the advanced permission settings page right so if I go back to the reports library and go back to this window again and I can see that Adrian Shaw is now added okay if I click on Adrian's name this basically tells me that Adrian has direct access so because we added Adrian directly um, you know through the permissions so Peter Smith only has access through a link uh, but Peter doesn't have any direct access okay you can also add direct users from the manage access page itself so let's just click on grant access at the top and I want to add a user called Sam and Sam has added access and I want to grant access so Sam now has been added so let's just go back to the manage access and click on manage access and I can see Sam is now added as a direct access right so if I go back to the permission settings and I reload this page I can see that Sam is now added and has contribute access now to remove the users so for example I want to remove Sam Smith so I'll click on Sam and under this option which has direct access I click on that 
and from this section I can basically select this drop down and say remove direct access and I click remove okay so the SAM is now removed and I go back to the advanced permission settings and just reload this page I can see that SAM has been removed so you know doing that you can actually add direct access to the users from this manage access page itself so let's just say um, that's the link right if you want um, you can add more people um, or more users um, to this link why would you do that so for example if you are sharing this particular document you know with a third party organization um, rather than click on sharing again it's actually better to just add you know um, all those users from one organization within that particular link so that you can group them together and in future if you have to revoke their access to this link or to this file you can simply delete this link so I can simply click on the settings gear and then basically add more users so let's just say we want to add Adrian again so I'm typing Adrian and that's Adrian and I click apply so I can see that Adrian is there and has access to this file through this link let's go back to people and if I click on Adrian again it still tells me that Adrian has added access to this um, file which is a direct access so let's just close this one and open this again and I open the manage access and I click on Adrian Shah this now tells me that Adrian has direct access plus Adrian also has access to this file through the link that we basically added Adrian to okay so so in a nutshell what actually happens is whenever you share any files with the users a link is actually getting created if you want to remove that access what you can do is you can simply click on remove link and click remove and this will delete the access for those users through that link so under people I can see that it's only Adrian Shah now Peter Smith has been removed and if I click on Adrian Shah I can see that Adrian only has direct access okay um, so that's how you basically you know share and manage access for those um, users and links that you have shared if you want to add a guest user for example so let me just type in my gmail and this is a external user so 50 at gmail.com so this user is an external user and this user is not within my tenancy so I'm going to share with this user and it tells me that this is outside of your organization and I click send okay now the link has been shared and if I go back to the sharing option again and click on the manage access this user won't be added under people so this is this is one of the thing that you know you might need to consider that not all the users will be added under the people option so if you have an external user who is already in your tenancy basically the user is already added as a guest user then those users will appear under people otherwise you know you won't be able to see that you know there is that external user uh, being given access but you can verify that through the links option so that's the link and you can see that this is an external user that who has access to this file through this link okay if you want to remove the access you can definitely delete the link and the access is removed right 
um, if you want to stop sharing this document altogether you can also click on stop sharing what will happen is everyone will be removed from this except the owners of this item right so let's click stop sharing and all the links are gone all the people are gone and i had five groups but now i only have two groups which is basically the owners of this particular document so that's how you can basically manage the sharing of your um, documents within sharepoint and manage and control who has access to those documents and basically verify All right i hope you learned something new today please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions leave them in the comment box and i hope to see you again thank you for watching